Hey guys, so we're off to Phillip Island in about six weeks time. Uh, I've had a few of the guys, especially the Queensland boys, ask um, just in regards to race lines at this place, uh, braking markers and uh, where to place the car. So there's a few um, multiple multiple lines you can use on some of these corners. So I thought we'd jump in the sim, we're in iRacing. Uh, I've selected a Carrera Cup car, 991 model. Thought we'd do some laps. Uh, show you guys best placement for this place and um, yeah, have a crack, give a, a guided lap at the start and then um, see what we do lap time wise. So, let's get out of the pit lane without stalling. Alright, so, one lane straight, one guard to straight, turn one, still in corner. Break for about 100 metres, you go very, very deep in here, you'll be in fifth gear in this car. Turn it in, get it into the apex. And run from there nice and straight all the way out the left hand side, just off the curb. Two ways you can take this corner. I prefer to stay in tight in here, or a quality lap sometimes you can come out here, get a nice exit for the run down into Stone Corner. Into four. Tire pressures are pretty low, temps are pretty low as well, so it's a bit of sliding around with the first lap. You have the sixth gear in this car through Stoner. Part of the brakes are about 150 metres, be very, very careful not to pinch the inside right front or the rears in the Honda. Balance the throttle through here, pick up the throttle on the exit, try not to drop the wheel. to be in fourth in this thing, back down to third in Siberia. Heaps of camber there, look how nice and early, right up into hay shed. Now from here you'll be completely flat through hay shed. All the way up into four gear for loose tights. Good balance and throttle through here. Once you get the crash, you can start feeding the power back down and then into MG. And then MG, one of the most important corners for a good exit. You've got to try and stay to the right and then get a good run into the last corner. So, I guess some temp in these things. Let's give it a crack. Here we go from here. we up into fifth gear. You shift fifth gear early. Keep the nose in. All the way to the curb. Grab six gear. Back to the left hand side of the circuit. So aim for about 150 metres. Then give me half of the brake down to fifth gear. Down to fifth. Front pressure's still not up there just yet. Down to third gear. Keep the nose in. Trail braking all the way in. Struggling with the front pressure still. Up into fourth. Got a heap of regrip at the moment. Up into fifth. You'll have six gear through Stoner here, right on the entry. Turn it in. Watch the rear end on the brakes. Hard on the brakes, 150. Get the nose in. Still straight with his right front, that left front pressure. Hard on the power. Third gear. Fourth gear up the side rear. Hard on the brakes. Down to third. Keep the nose in. All this camber here. Just use it. Use it. Stand on it hard. Fourth gear. Fifth gear, we're going to aim for a 1 minute 30 or a high 29 in this thing. Fifth gear through the Haitian, completely flat. Touch the limit, down to fourth gear. Balance the throttle here, keep the nose in, balance it. Now you can feed it down a bit more, bit of oversteer. Down to second gear, don't lock the rears, just locked it. Now to empty, third gear. Short shift to third. Watch the rear end, short shift to fourth, just trying to run wide there. Grab fifth. Back it off, get the nose back in, then hard on the power. Run all the way to the exit. On a quality run, you'll stay straight here. Grab six. Slightly in the 29s. 29.8. Very, very happy with that lap time. Anyway, so thank you for coming on board. We're looking forward to catching up with you guys down in uh, down in Phillip Island, all the Melbourne guys. Uh, it's going to be an amazing event. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll have some live stream happening and stuff. And we'll go from there. Awesome, guys. Thank you for coming on board. Cheers. Thank mm -hmm. you.